In this video, I'm going to show you how to release the fingers of your glove along with the web spiral, which is done with the same piece of lace in most cases. There's a few ways to do this. I'm going to show you the Wilson style and the traditional style, like you see right in front of you. And the first thing you want to do is decide do you want to start on the thumb or the pinky side, because that's where it starts and ends. And a nice trick to let you know which side you need to start on is look at your glove before you unlace it of course and you'll see the web spiral right here they're slanted in one way or another this one is kind of a forward slash slanted that way that means we need to start on the pinky side pointing that way start on pinky and conversely if they're slanted to the left backslash you need to start on the thumb side the glove I'm going to be doing it on is this one, so we're going to be starting on the pinky. Let me get this unlaced and uh, let's get started. All right, the first thing you want to do is thread your needle. Snip the end at an angle and screw your needle on. You want to be using at least a 40 inch, 48 inch piece of lace. This is a 72 inch piece, but uh, just be safe, you want to get at least a 48. As I said earlier, the uh, slants were facing this way, so we're going to start on the pinky. First hole is right here. We're going to come out that top hole on the pinky. And I forgot to tie my knot. You should do this for the second step. You want to tie a single knot in it like this. It's a good time for you to measure how long you want it. Looks good. Pull nice and tight. And pull it on through until you get to the knot. Now, moving over to the ring finger bottom hole. Coming out the bottom hole on the other side. Here's the great part about relacing your own gloves. You can pretty much customize it any way you want to. So if you want uh, your fingers to be spread out a little bit, now's the time to do it. If you want them tight, pull nice and tight. Kind of give it a tug and find out exactly where you want it. Next hole we're going back in the pinky, bottom hole. Coming out the bottom hole in the pinky. Also want to pull on this part too, figure out how tight you want that. You should get the hang of it. we're going in is this top hole on the ring finger. You can go over or under, whatever looks best to you. I go under, that's the way it comes from the factory. I like to keep it the same. I really don't think there's any advantage one way or the other. Coming out the uh, top hole on the ring finger by the way. Play with that, get that where you want it. And that's what we got so far. Now, it's just like we're at the beginning. We're going to be going in the top hole on the ring finger. Come out the top hole right here. Basically, I'm going to be doing the same thing for the rest of the fingers. Make sure you pull it relatively tight on the back of that finger right there. You don't want to be seeing anything under there. Bottom hole in the middle. Out the bottom hole in the back. Going 
back to the ring in that bottom hole. Forgot to mention this, you want to see the rough side when you're uh, going on the back of those fingers. Next step is Alright, next step is top of the middle finger. Out the top hole in the back of it. That's how we're looking. Top right on the middle. Out the top of the middle on the other side. Pull nice and tight. through the bottom of the index now. Now this being a Japanese glove, it's going to have some extra holes right here. And it's a good opportunity to show you how to do that. If you have a normal glove without these holes, you want to just go in that next hole just like we did on these other two. So here's how you do this little X pattern right here. You're going to go in this hole right here on the middle finger and come out the bottom right next to it. And we're going to want to keep that smooth side facing down right here. So all we're seeing right now is the rough side. that where you want it. If you want it loose or tight, make it how you want it. Next step, we're going in this bottom hole on the index, coming out the hole right next to it. And I went under the lace we just did, because that's how they come from the factory. You can go over if you feel like it. And on that one, uh, you got the rough side facing you as well. You can kind of give it a twist for this next part. So you can see that smooth side. Because so right here we're going in the bottom hole in the middle finger. This is where we're coming out. This is where you normal glove guys can pick up if you don't have that export. There's what that looks like. Pretty nifty. Now we're to the index. We're going to be going in that last hole that is remaining. coming out that top hole right there. All right. And if all you rolling trapeze guys, uh, if you get a Wilson OT6, this is where you would stop and tie off a single knot because it does not go any further. A few other gloves do as well. I can't really think of them right now. But our next step for the rest of us, we're going in that hole right there on the index. The web should be already going through it. If you don't already have the web on, you need to stop right now and get that web on. Here we go. Now, to the web spiral. Let's see if 
if I can get a close-up of this. We're going to be going inside the web tunnel right there. And pay close attention to the lace going across the web right there underneath. We're going to go under that. So we're going inside and under this lace right here. Try to focus that. Not working out for me. There we go. Alright. Now you want to kind of twist your needle so you can see the rough side. And we are coming out this first hole right here in the whip. Kind of pull that through. If your lace starts to twist, that's okay. You can kind of twist that rough set up here in a second. Pull that to the tightness where you want it. If you want it loose, some people like their webs really loose right there. This looks about where it came stock. Now, give that lace a twist so you can see that rough side facing you right now. Now we're going to come back over and go in the first hole, or you can also say last, right there. And we're coming out that same hole where we just went in, or actually came out of. So we're coming out twice. And what you want to do here is you want to get the proper tightness. Don't pull too tight or your web will start to curl in real bad like that. And you don't want that. That's not going to play good for you. The tighter you do this, the more the web will start to deform like that. So just kind of pull it. Give it a little squeeze. Make sure there's not too much coming up. Now, we are going in the second hole. Coming out that next hole right here. And that's what we got so far. Now, we're basically going to go one by one, not skipping any holes. pull this extremely tight just a little bit to where nothing comes up when you squeeze it should be plenty all the while should have mentioned this a little bit earlier. I guess I kind of did. When you're going in these holes, you want to make sure you're going under the lace for the web. It kind of makes you, once you get that first hole in there, it kind of pulls the lace up, but make sure that lace is on top. You can kind of feel it. There's really no room for it to go on bottom. Just thought I'd make that clear. there. Right now, once we get to this last hole, we're going to go in and out the last hole. Alright. Now, we're out the last hole. That's where we're at. Now we're 
Now we want to go in the last hole again. You can kind of poke the needle on the inside of the glove. Sometimes it's really difficult to do that. Always just go out that tunnel. Pull that tight. And that should match oppositely of what that first hole looks like. You got two coming out right there, two coming out on the inside. Give that a nice pull. Make sure it's not sticking up too much. There we go. That looks good. Now you want to take this and go in between the web and basically come out right next to the web. So we want it to match how the side looks. So I'm basically it's basically going right there to right there. Now to finish up, we're going in this top hole on the thumb. And some gloves you'll come out right here if you don't have one of these holes. If you do have one of these holes, you want to kind of aim for it and get it out at right there. Most rolling gloves do not have that hole, so you'll be coming out right there. Sure, the lace is going to be smooth side up right here. All right, get that to where you want it. And that's what we got. Tie it off with a single knot just like you did at the very beginning. Try not to get other lace in the knot like I'm doing. And that's it. Cut it off and you're done. That'll do it. Hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching, if I can get that in the picture.